Let's look at the materials you will need. Graphite pencils. I recommend a good quality graphite pencil. Grades 3H, H, HB, 2B, 4B and 6B. A craft knife. One of the best ways to sharpen your pencils is using a craft knife. Sandpaper. A small piece of sandpaper is very useful to help shape the point of a pencil and it is very useful for creating graphite and charcoal powder. Paper. A good quality hardback sketchbook containing cartridge paper or loose sheets of cartridge paper, approximately 100 gram to 140 gram. A putty rubber. Make sure you have a kneadable eraser, that's what we call a putty rubber. Uh, these can be moulded into shapes and are very gentle on the paper and don't leave any particles behind. Stumps and cotton buds. These are both excellent for blending. The stumps come in a range of sizes and they reach those areas you may find difficult to blend. A marl stick, specially designed to prevent you smudging your work. It enables you to balance your hand while shading those intricate areas usually found in the middle of your drawing. A hog bristle brush, normally used for painting acrylics and oils, but a good quality hog bristle brush is an ideal tool for blending and applying graphite and charcoal. Dave's rag. Yes, the best tool I have for my drawing, my special rag, is excellent for blending smooth, large and small areas, applying graphite and charcoal and softening tones in your work. You'll find this a great help with your drawing. It is very important what surface you use for attaching your drawing paper. Make sure that the surface is free from any texture, blemishes, lumps and scratches, as these can ruin your drawing. As you can see here, the scratches and texture of the board show in the graphite and it's a little bit similar to a brass rubbing. But at first I recommend you place a few sheets of paper underneath your drawing surface to ensure that any perfections of the drawing board or table will not affect your final drawing. What kind of drawing surfaces should you use to draw on? Today there is a huge range of machine made and handmade papers available for the artist. With these differing textured surfaces and colours the artist is very spoilt for choice. It is ideal to try lots of different types of papers so you can see the different effects. The thickness of the paper is indicated by its weight in grams per square metre. The greater the weight the thicker the paper. 80 gram to 150 gram cartridge paper will suit most people. 180 gram or heavier is ideal when using softer pencils for texture and blended effects. The brightness of paper is also a choice you can make. Papers come in a range of varying degrees of white. Some are bright white, whereas others are a range of off-whites. The wood pulp papers tend to be the brighter whites, and the papers made from cotton rag or a mix of fibres tend to be more creamier. The surface of the paper will be one of your most important choices. Most drawing surfaces have a slight texture or tooth, but there are some papers available with an extremely smooth surface. These are usually used for pen and ink drawing. The best results are usually produced on top quality, acid-free paper. Stay well clear of the cheap paper. It contains lots of acid and will turn brown over a short period of time. Here's a tip. You will find it cheaper to buy larger sheets of paper and then cut them down to size.